Hello everyone, my name is HowTo Playlist. I am joined by the creator of Dream Battles, Mike G, and the lovely KN Zast, and we're bringing you commentary of Ridley vs. Vilgax for the one year anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> it almost sounded like the podcast intro, but yes, we are celebrating yeah. one year of Ridley vs. Vilgax. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering why this video? It's just another versus battle video with an awesome intro and awesome editing still. Um, so what's the big deal? What's the big fucking deal about this video? Well, for one, it took me two years to make, pretty much. And this is the biggest video I ever, ever attempted, and I'm very proud of this video. Um, and I'm amazed that it got to the amount of views that it did, and I thank Chris a lot for that, actually, because... Uh, you know, he was able to get us a lot of views on this video. And um, so if you're watching, Chris, I, I really appreciate it. Um, but Jacob, would you like to start us off on how this all started? And I'm how to playlist. So around the end, uh, around the time when we were wrapping up Ravager versus Wolverine, we were deciding what to do next. And, uh, Mike was running through a bunch of battles, and one that really caught my eye was Ridley versus Vilgax. And uh, I was like, since I was, I'm a huge Ben 10 fan. I've been a huge Ben 10 fan since I was like six. And you know, I would love to, co I would love to like do this. In and I was talking to Mike. And I was like, Mike, we need a collab on this. And he's like, and he's like, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. And <laughs> so we we started we started doing like research about about both people, and uh, I kept on like uh, you know giving him uh, like because Mike kept on want to know where these Vilgax clips were, and you know since I am the Ben Ten Encyclopedia of the group, uh, I sent him all the clips uh, and where to find the clips. And pretty much, you know, the basic shit about Vilgax. Yeah. And, uh, you know, then we have our, fr we have our friend Trevor, which, who is a really big Metroid fan. Uh, yep. He uh, helped us He helped us with Ridley a lot. Yep. He's just a big Nintendo fan in general, and he was very excited to see Ridley. Oh, yeah. Now, I also want to state that I am also very proud um, to say that this is the only video, and if this is far in the future and there's other videos, this is the first legit video on Ridley vs. Vilgax ever done. Like, yeah, there's probably been people who have sat in front of cameras and talked about it, but this is the first, like, legit video rundown on this fight. And I haven't found another one, mm -hmm. oddly enough. So I'm very proud that we were able to do this first. Um, mm -hmm. But for me... Yeah. For, because oh, if you, you just, know. yeah, oh, oh, sorry about. Because if you just look up Ridley versus Vilgax on YouTube, all you get is like death battle, fan made trailers. Uh, there's a rap battle, and just yep. a bunch of music. But by we were way, basically that, the first big battle. Uh, by the way, that rap battle Go at ahead. the time of this recording came out about two months ago. I uh, love that rap battle, and I'm very glad to see this battle get a lot more recognition. Um, now, something I found very yeah. interesting when actually doing this fight and and later on when it was uploaded was a lot of people didn't like this fight. A lot of people thought this was either too one-sided or not them thematically correct, or um, there was some issues with this fight, and I didn't understand it because... Well, especially after doing all this research and everything, you know, and like scaling them and everything, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was fairly close, much closer than people thought. And I, I think it's a very fitting battle. I think it's really good. What do you think of that? Because I was reading all kinds of stuff on that and I was really baffled by it. I, I didn't understand where people were coming from. They would rather see Rakazuya versus Ridley. And yeah. Creatures larger than himself. Oh, I think, you know, Ridley and Vilgax works because, you know, they're always getting beat by, you know, a mere human, mm -hmm. you know, or a humanoid with powers. But they also have, like, they also have, like, cybernetic enhancements. Uh, they can both fly. They're both very super-powered aliens by themselves. 
they're they're very similar in many ways, but they're also unique. Yeah. Um. When I was doing this episode, I was telling you guys a lot. Like, wow, you know, there's similarities, but the way these guys operate in terms of their powers, their biology, it's so opposite. And the thing I love about this fight, the 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 big thing that I really love about it is there's really cool themes. But I love how um, them as alien organisms are so completely opposite. But one thing that they focus on a lot in different ways that I really love is their durability. And that was the biggest aspect of this fight that and that it came down to that I had to really, really focus on was their durability. Um, and, uh, yeah, I love how this... This fight's got everything that you would want in a versus battle. And I'm not saying that because of this video or anything. I'm just saying that because as a fight, it, it has everything you could want. It's 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 got good combatants with lots of feats and abilities. It's got good themes. It's got enough differences to not make them complete clones. Uh, and, yeah, and there's really good debate, I think. I think there's a lot to debate on when looking into this fight as well. So, yep. yeah, absolutely. Now... <laughs> let's go through the writing process of this because the writing process was very long and you guys can obviously tell by the length yes. of this video because man it's a long one <laughs> it's a it's a big video so Jacob. this video is about the length of this video is about the length of a directed video sequel pretty much <laughs> Is that um, with or without it's the like the same length cut. of the hunchback from the personal <laughs> Yeah, there is there's actually yeah. ten minutes cut out of this video. There is ten minutes cut out. Um the fight itself, which we will get to, originally was like forty minutes and I cut ten minutes out of it. And you seemingly cannot tell at all. Um Yeah, this video I, I will admit it is a bit long. Like it's it's a little bit too long. Um but the but the rundowns aren't too long, I think. At least in my mind, I think I think they're the right length. I think it just oh, I think no. the fight I think the fight was just too long. But I kept thinking about like how the fight would go out in my head, like the whole time. I was thinking of every little thing that would happen, and it just ended up being long. <laughs> I couldn't help it because I'm like, man, I don't think it would end here or here. You know, I just. Yeah. So with the next episode, um, War vs. Doomslayer, we do intend to make the fight a lot shorter um, just because that this fight was a bit long. I, I have to admit, it was a lot to ta tackle as well. Um, but, <laughs> but the writing process. So I actually started off writing Vilgax for the writing process. Uh, I, I, knew, I knew a little bit more about Vilgax to some degree. Because while I did love Ridley, and I do like Ridley a lot more, I didn't grow up with Nintendo. I didn't play the Metroid games. Um, I really just liked Ridley aesthetically. I liked his darker themes and tones, and uh, I just preferred Metroid more as a universe. But, um, you know, I, I started off writing Vilgax, and that didn't take me too long. It, it was perfected over time, and, and, and I wrote it to suit Jacob, especially because... He had never uh, done anything like this before. I mean, you've made videos, Jacob, but this was your first, like, big script attempt. And um, would you like to discuss that? Because that was uh, very interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, I've, I'm not a big, you know, strong reader. I can read, of course, but, you know, I'm, I mostly do things that don't involve a lot of reading. You know, it's not that I don't like to read, you know, it's just, you know, I'm more of, you know, just actions guy. Mm -hmm. But I still loved uh, reading the script and also how also like going through of it with Mike. Like there was like we'll get to it like sometime like throughout the video. But there was a word I could not fucking pronounce. It drove me crazy. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get to that later. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Well, it, but still, it drove me crazy, and it and Matt, Mike just kept on laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something, man. When I when I start doing these kinds of videos, 
um, it's not easy to read. Like, it's not easy to read and sound convincing. Um, yeah. And I had talked about it on a podcast, but, like, my dad was judging it. And I was like, you know what? You sit down and you try reading this. He couldn't get through the paragraph, and he felt horrible. And that's something that, and that's something that you guys can understand is that there, there's so much more to making these kinds of videos than one could think. Uh, this one was, this was a big one to tackle. And understand that each segment, I'm not reading every paragraph at a time. I'm reading the whole fucking section at once. So this whole Ridley section was done in one reading. There was only one part that I kind of re-recorded because I did some information wrong. Um, but it's all done in one go. There, There is no, all right, that paragraph's done, on to the next one. Because as I read, I want, to I want it to seemingly sound more natural and sound cohesive, right? So I try to record everything as much as I can in one day. Uh, and it's hard, especially when you're tackling something this fucking big, man. Um yeah, <laughs> and and I knew that this would be something for Jacob, so I actually sat down with him, and I went through the script with him because I wanted him to be prepared and ready, and because I've done this before um, numerous times, and yeah. it, it takes a while. Now, I will tell you, I don't just keep that skill because I have to reteach myself. I only record a few times a year, if not only once a year, so... You know, it's, but this Ridley section though, just watching it, like, um, this was, this was something to edit. Like there was a lot of stuff to edit. As you guys could see, there was a lot of the, um, man, manga panels that I had actually cropped out the word bubbles and there was a lot to it. It was a very long process as was Vilgax's. Not as long as Ridley's. I think there was a lot more going on with Ridley's section to edit. Um, but this was a much bigger project to tackle in terms of quality as well compared to uh, Ravager versus Wolverine. Just the quality is a huge update, I think. Um, yeah. What, yeah. What do you think of the quality of this, Jacob? Just looking back at it a year later. These vulnerable spots include the mouth and chest, which can you know, be easily targeted. I see. I, I still think it holds up very nicely, mm -hmm. and uh, it's still. I'm still like so happy that it's here and that like I got to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like so happy to be a part of it. You know, like my first big script video, and I. You know, I think I could have done better, but I'm glad that you gave me support throughout. I love it. I love that run down of Vilgax, which we're getting into here in just a second. Um, but I'm not really praising myself here because I'm used to hearing myself, and I don't like hearing myself. But I had a lot of fun doing Ridley's section. It was probably it was probably the rundown that took me the longest to do. I I took a lot of time making this section. Um, and this part, I I just started with my last episode putting uh, end clips to the rundowns like Death Battle does. And it took me a while to figure out which one to do for Ridley because there wasn't really a lot to choose from. Um, some of you guys didn't want that clip, and that was the one that just stuck out to me the most. And I kept it in, but... Oh, the universe. I, uh, oh, so I, I uh, supported that clip. Yeah, there were some people that wanted that smash clip where he uh, threw Samus into the ship and then fired at it. But I had already used that clip so many times. I had used it in the rundown, I, and I don't like repeating clips. I, I learned that from editing. Um, some videos, it's fine. It, it, it depends on how the editing style is done, but I don't like repeating too much. Um Unless it's like in a whole nother section, which is completely fine. But if it's in the same section of the video, I just don't care to do it. Um, but this rundown. So we didn't really talk about the characters. We didn't talk about their capabilities and the things that we had discovered about them. And I got to tell you, Vilgax, Vilgax was uh, really surprising. Originally, I thought I thought Ridley was going to win this. Uh, spoilers, just in case, if you're just hopping into this for some reason. Um, 
Vilgax does win, and I in, I intentionally thought it was Ridley, but Vilgax really surprised me, and he's very capable, very, very capable. Um, and he has some pretty intri- intriguing little um, perfections and evolution traits and uh, gaining abilities and enhancements. Yeah. And, so, and so, Jacob, did you learn a lot about Vilgax with this video at all? Just the stuff I didn't know. Or, yeah, you know, like I've I I know a lot of uh, stuff going into this uh, going into this video, like the basic stuff and like some of the out of out of the ordinary things. But yeah, I did learn a few things, like uh, his like like ent- like his antipathy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that... I, I learned about that throughout I was... this video. I was debating if that was fake, but I looked, and it's not. I, I was really surprised to see that was an actual ability he had. But it's kind of surprising since he is a squid-octopus-like like creature. Not saying squids and octopuses are 100% related, but, you know, being that kind of a creature, I mean, I, I guess it makes sense that he does have those kind of capabilities to evolve to certain environments and regrow parts of his body and, you know, just... uh. Yeah. yeah, very interesting. And also just enhancing his ridiculous durability. I mean, um, I didn't know he was as durable as he was. I, I had no idea. Because uh, the show has inconsistencies. There's there's parts of the show where he loses that makes no sense. Because it's like, well, he should be able to survive that, you know, and he shouldn't be able to lose to that. And, um, and also we did, we did make comparisons to Gax. And uh, I had a question why we didn't use Omniverse. Um, And to answer that here, it's because Omniverse uh, really ruined Vilgax a lot. Redcons a lot. Yeah, it retcons a lot, and it made him much weaker. Um, Yeah, and, you know, he just had these ridiculous things going on that I was like, no, we shouldn't tackle it because it'll just... It'll just complicate yeah. things, and it was just easier to do this. And I really didn't want to combine, like, three or four versions of Bill Gax. <laughs> I thought combining just the original and Alien Force was pushing a things a bit far because because uh, cause, cause they're not combined in the show at all. This is a different timeline of Bill Gax where he's a cyborg, and then in Alien Force, he's not a cyborg anymore, so... Yeah, it was it was pushing things far, but I think we did a good job combining them and making it convincing and fair. You know. Yep. I love this rundown so much. I've watched it quite a few times. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah. I had more fun editing this rundown because I got to hear your voice. And you guys got to understand, it gets annoying hearing my own voice after a while, especially when I'm editing audio and the video, just hearing the same thing over and over again, right? And and it was just it was just nice to edit this. I felt the same way with uh, Richards when I did uh Deathstroke versus Bane. It was just a nice ch- uh, change of pace. You yeah. Know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but in terms of Ridley, there was a lot of stuff that I was surprised to find out about Ridley. <laughs> and I was amazed how many abilities he had. Um, and here's the end empathy. Yeah, and I had found that this character here, if you guys are curious why I put this character on screen, is because her her power specifically surrounds Endopathy in, in, in Evolving. Um, now, originally, that was a dream yeah. sequence, right? That that part where Vilgax is talking upgrade? I, I believe so. Yeah. When uh, So the, that episode where it comes from uh, is where... There was this biker chick gang, uh, like attacking Grandpa, and uh, like one of uh, one of Vilgax's drones uh, crashed the party, and one of the biker chicks got in, got like hooked, like they got linked, the drone and her got linked, and that was that allowed her to communicate with Vilgax, and when he when he went upgrade to overtake her. That's when Vilgax was able to communicate with Upgrade. 
Mm, and so he did do that. Damn. With this new power yeah, Vilgax is yeah. Vilgax is unique, but but Ridley was uh, very unique as well in terms of his capabilities. I didn't know he could uh, camouflage. Something else I wish I would have added to this video that I had missed out on was uh, he could actually control darkness around him. He can change the lighting of a room, and he can encase himself in darkness, you know, and hide himself. But I, I also think that has to do with his camouflage capabilities, right? Um, but I think that was, like, the only thing that yeah. I had otherwise missed um but ridley could camouflage and um now i was debating whether or not ridley could actually harden his skin or or you know like his clone but i would imagine that he could just because the clone is a clone and so i i could only imagine that ridley could uh change the density of his skin and control his body that way especially if he's like eating organic life and you know able to heal himself like crazy so especially when it comes to like his durability i mean there's only one or two ways to harm him so i would imagine that his skin and everything is um is, is hardening hardening itself with every attack so but uh now the other thing i found out about this fight that was very interesting was I found that Ridley possessed a lot of abilities that Vilgax had already been, or is already familiar with, right? Flight, fire, earth manipulation, um, machinery, whether it's rockets or anything, or, um, you know, energy-like capabilities and just all kinds of that stuff. Um, Vilgax was already familiar with. Um, how did you feel when Vilgax was first coming into this fight against Ridley? Because... I, I I initially thought Ridley was going to win, and then it was going to be Vilgax. But did you think it was Vilgax from the start? Uh, to be honest, yes. Mm, okay. Uh, oh, speaking of uh, bringing back to the word I could pronounce, Ulo. The there it is, Ulo. Yep, uh, there it is. That took me forever to pronounce. I always said Uno for some like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, he had a hard time and, with that word. And when, or Ulu. Because yeah, I never, there, there, I'm not used to saying that word. There was also Ulu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we sat down Ulu. for a while and then uh, there's practiced. Which has numerous forms. <laughs> there's the then there's a shield of Zigel or Zegel. <laughs> oh my God, dude, dude, the pronunciation of these weapons. Okay. So, some of you watching were probably like, oh, you're not fucking saying that right. Yeah, I probably wasn't, because I couldn't find the right fucking pronunciation. And and when someone said it was Ziegel, I was like, that sounds really fucking stupid. I'd rather say Ziegel. Sounds way better. Um, yeah, <laughs> some of these are probably not pronounced correctly. <laughs> I, I actually had to look up whether or not Vilgax pronounced that word, and he did. He said, the shield of Zegel. And I was like, oh, fuck that shit. No way, man. <laughs> but I think the worst name of a weapon he has is Sword of Vilgaxia. I, I, don't like, I don't like that one. I would have called it something else, but yeah. that's just me. Um, all right, this true form. This was very controversial, and uh, I had a really hard time researching this true form had to make sure everything was right because you know how, how it is how people can write misinformation or just uh, lie about stuff so um, I relied on the respect thread the most because the because respect threads are usually pretty true and there's a lot of evidence behind them so yeah, that true form, I was like, man, I got to be careful with this because, you know, we only we only saw it in like two episodes, I think, right? There was only two episodes with it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think it was just two episodes. There was the one where he first transformed, and then there was one where he was kept captive in that tank, which... I'm, I still shake my head over that because he's in water, so he should have just fucking broke out. I was like, is this inconsistency or is this I think him he was just in there for like a few. Yeah, I, well, I think he was, he was very healing. weak. That was, yeah. That was a healing tank. I think he was healing, yeah. Yeah, I think in that episode he even mentioned that he was still like not at his full strength. Yeah. Yeah. 
Was, now, uh, the nuke thing did crack me up, and that was another inconsistency because because his younger self survived a nuke, right? And then you would think his true true yeah. form would survive it. And we've seen him shrug off huge explosions like nothing. He's just like, meh. You know, it's like, what? <laughs> I mean, dude, we saw four well, arms then again, clap away a storm monster. <laughs> in addition... Yeah. Well, then again, when he did get, like, zapped by that nuke, he was in the healing chamber for a long time. Yeah, there's until, that nuke. Yeah. And the worst of all. Yeah. So, oh, oh and here's my here he the, best, <laughs> the best part. The kid's meal. Burger shack. <laughs> I got you the kitty meal, so don't let him know you're over eight. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke. That's like the best joke of Alien Force. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let them know you're over eight. <laughs> and but here's the thing, though. Here, here's why I say it's inconsistent. Is because his body was supposed to adapt, and and he had the enhancements he had, so he wouldn't go down like that again, right? And then in Alien Force, his body was supposed to be stronger. And his body actually adapted from the cyborg enhancements, so he still kept a lot of those strengths without without the, the cyborg parts. So that's why it really confused me, because it's like, well, wait a minute. That shouldn't have done anything to him. But then it states that his true form uh, is is more vulnerable, right? It's His durability is weaker, which I was like, okay, so that's interesting. But, oh, here we go. <laughs> we also upgraded the countdown from last time and a lot better. and a lot of the stuff that you guys are seeing it's it's gonna stay in the next episode um you know the last episode it was just blue and i, I wanted to do some quality updates to the color scheme of dream battles uh, the transitioning and uh the last episode's not bad but the transition needed work the countdown needed work um, there were just some updates that I wanted to make. Now, another thing with this part of the video, the fight, is I wanted to add sound effects to the whole thing, but it's 30 fucking minutes. The last episode was a 17-minute fight. It took me a while, but I got it done. Um, but it was just too much to tackle. I was pretty much towards the end of making the whole video, and I was just like, do you guys actually want to see sound effects in this? Are you fine with it? And they're like, you don't have to do it. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to put it up because it's just, it's been taking me so long anyway just to get it done. Um, but the story for this, now, Ridley versus Vilgax, or I should say Guts versus Dante, is where we started doing this kind of style, right, where we start implementing fights into the episodes. Um and something I really wanted to do was I wanted to add yeah. good, convincing stories to the fights because I thought it would make them a lot more engaging. Now, some people are just there for the fight. You know, they just want to see them slug out. That's fine. But I feel like it makes it a lot better when you're attached to the characters, you know them, and then there's a buildup and a good reasoning as to why they're fighting, right? As opposed to just them doing the death battle thing and being like, ah, I see you're here. <laughs> might just well fight <laughs> right like eh. yeah this to me is a lot more interesting um i learned that from the batman vs superman movie <laughs> you know they didn't take their time to build up a relationship between the two there was no connection no good reasoning for the two fighting and uh and I thought, you know what? If I, I, I want to do my versus videos like that, I want I want to make them engaging and uh, and just very interesting. And I want the story to be a part of the fight. That the fight is the story too, and that's why you get these really cool segments of the fight where there's a story going on, and it's just really cool. I think. Now I will say I I do wish this was animated. Um, I know a lot of people probably don't prefer this, and and that's okay. That's just the best I can do right now. Um, so, but otherwise, I, I really hope that everybody enjoyed this section. Uh, you didn't have to watch it. That's why there were chapters in the videos, of course. Um, oh, I love this part. This part coming up is so cool. Meanwhile, with the minor threat dealt with, Vilgax continued his stroll into the vicinity until he came across a view outside. Love this part. His army was retreating. 
Vilgax grew concerned, not so much for the lives of his reinforcements. Which he would not be concerned for his reinforcements. Could do this much in such a short amount of time. Yeah. And most and that's another thing, like, when you're writing something like this, you got to think about the characters at the core and who they are. You got to know them. You know, something else I was very shocked about with Ripley, but it makes a lot of sense now, is I didn't know how short-tempered he was. I also didn't know how intelligent he was. I just thought he was more of an animal. Oh, he's very right. intelligent. Yeah, I didn't know he was a scientist, engineer, tactician. I didn't know that shit. Um, but that's mostly from the manga, but I still didn't know that. Like, I had no idea. Now, some people would say, well, why would you implement the manga? Because it because there's more to add now, and it makes this fight more interesting than Vilgax coming across an animal, right? There is um, there's an actual conflict with, between the two. There's discussion to be had, and there's words to be said, and, you know, it just makes it a lot more interesting. But that simple taunt from the god of death gave the green warlord... The and plus there's more feats to run down that way too. Useless. So, Vilgax, letting mm-hmm. his actions respond, took Corpsman's head... But I love that part where Ridley stabs that lady. And then let the oh, that's just brutal, man. It comes up out of the floor. And, oh, that's so brutal. So dark. <laughs> he clenched his fist in anticipation, waiting for the god of death to turn to life. They both darted. Now, originally, we were going to voice over the characters. We were going to do voice acting. That was an original thing that we were actually going to do for this episode. Yeah. And um, and I told Jacob, I said, we can't do it because I just don't know how to alter our voices, really. And, uh, and I, I just think it's just going to be too long. And maybe someday, I, I would rather do that if we have animation. I think I'd be more comfortable with that. But, um... You know, this is what we have for now. And in midair, he spotted his corporate officer. But and but you know, this is just the fight and everything. We can take our time and discuss other things about this episode if you wish, Jacob. Is there anything that you want to talk about? No, I think you nailed the. I think you nailed the coffin, dude. It's like this is awesome. Like by itself, like. It, and if you guys have been noticing, like we, uh, to like give more impactful to the scenes that Mike is detailing, he's he's putting similar scenes, uh, in the little tiny sc- in the video right here. Yeah, yeah. There's little faded, um, um, trans translucent, different colored scenes playing now. Something you'll notice is the purple. Oh fuck! How did this go? I think the purple was to indicate. Uh, Ridley performing the attack and performing the offense of sorts and the and the result and the green was for Bill Gax, right? So I tried to kind of switch those colors around yeah. to, to stick with their color scheme. So and so that way you didn't get too much of, you know, these other characters from these different clips just kind of, you know, making their way in and and just fucking with the, the colors of the two. So so his yeah. And uh, for Vilgax, the voice I was going to init- uh, intentionally use, which you can hear right there, is uh, actually Nightmare from Soul Calibur VI. Um, I thought it was the best combination of the original Vilgax from Ben 10 and Alien Force. I, I wanted to combine the voices. And when I ran into that, I was like, that is a perfect combo. And so I took some of the lines and cut them down a little bit and, and made them work for, for Vilgax here. So. Now for Ridley, <laughs> oddly enough, Ridley actually has a Ghost Rider line for Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> Which I hate Marvel vs. Capcom, by the way. I don't like the game. Um. But I liked some of the lines that were used. Otherwise, I used uh, xenomorph noises and, uh, and stuff like that. Because and now the xenomorph noises I had actually used because uh, Ridley was inspired by Alien. Metroid was was inspired by Alien, so I thought it'd be a cool little nod. I also used some of the sounds from uh, Smash Bros. Uh, the most recent. Um, stuff like that, and of course, there's the one that's tons. Yeah, the one that Ridley is in to play as. 
Um, but otherwise, I have implemented tons of sounds from like Transformers and all kinds of stuff. Just lots of audio editing. And sadly, I don't think it goes. I don't think it goes beyond this point. The sound effects, which is, which is a little disappointing because. Um, this could have been really enhanced by the sounds, but the, but I think the clips are doing the job, right? I think the clips are are doing a lot here, just really helping people follow along with what's going on and everything. So, and in terms of background, if you guys have suggestions, I'm open to them. I wish I could do better backgrounds for you guys with these fights. Um, I can only do so much when there's really nothing going on on screen. <laughs> Um, and some of you guys are probably wondering, yeah. well, why you have a fight then if you're if you don't have the capabilities? Well, I mean, I had comments on my really old episodes. You guys know the ones, those really bad ones, asking where the fight was, and I was like, well, I should probably start doing them. So, yep. I, I bet you if this was animated, it would be way shorter. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, um, Ra like Ravager and Wolverine could be probably like <laughs> over in a snap if it was an animation. Yeah, it would probably be pretty quick. Now we talked about how Vilgax was a combination of the original and Alien Force, um, with the comparison to Gax from Omniverse, right? Now with Ridley no, no, from the reboot from the. Oh, oops, my bad. I, I meant to say, um, yeah, yeah, the reboot, my bad. Yep, you're right, you're right. Ugh, stupid me. Um, we talked about how Vilgax was a combination, right? And we had implemented his original cyborg form, uh, alien force, and then we used his true form. So there's three things right there. For Ridley, we had utilized uh, parts of his normal state, right? And then we implemented Meta Ridley, and Omega Ridley. Now, I also used some things from Proto Ridley, but Proto Ridley um, was so close to meta that it didn't really complicate things too much, so I did include that. And then we implemented the manga more so for feats and, and to demonstrate his intelligence and his character. Um, and so we did some fusing in this episode to really push these characters to their absolute peak um, to really see what these guys were very capable of. So, and because, and because uh, one thing I will say about death battle is they try to use characters at a hundred percent, which I respect that because you want to really look at all, all sides of it. Um, it can complicate things because there are different versions of characters that are not the same person. Right, and you don't always want to do that. But the thing that I wanted to to do, which I did in this video, and I'm very proud that I did, was if you guys notice at the very start, there's the whole disclaimer, there's the rules, and it basically states that it states everything we used and everything that we are doing in this video, just so we're straight up honest with you and we're not trying to misguide you or anything. Um, just so that if you're concerned and yeah. have questions, you can point it out. And it's like, well, here's what we did. And you need to pay attention. And it's in the description. It's in, it's at the beginning. It's in the, in the description. You know, there's a lot of details to pay attention to. Here's our pie chart. Yeah. Yeah. It's our pie chart of sorts. And, and the thing is, is it's like, well, why don't you just say it? Well, there's not enough time to. Look how long this fucking video is. It's too much. So we just throw it in there, you know, and if and if you're too lazy to read, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you don't want to read, whatever. It's your problem. Yeah, it's your problem. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, man. And we're not trying to be mean, you know. Yeah, just... it's just... It's just, you know what, we we worked really hard. You can put in a little effort, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I busted my ass. I'll tell you what, yeah. <laughs> these clips are very short, but man, did it take me a while to figure out which ones to use. <laughs> you remember. Yeah. I was like, hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> you remember. You remember. I remember. Oh, yeah, I remember. 
Now, Matt is our quality assurance guy. He makes sure that everything looks good, you know, and that we're doing everything right. So Matt was also very helpful in this, and he was cheering me on the whole time. And um, and I would always go to Matt for questions because Matt is very tech savvy, and I always I always ask him like, "Do you think this looks looks good? And do you think I can make changes and stuff?" And you know, there was a lot of that. I mean, there's a lot of that going on with every video, but this one especially, there was so much shit going on, just tons of it. It was ridiculous. Yes. I was like, all right, guys. I'd, I'd hop in the group. I'd be like, all right, guys. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> be honest with me. Don't don't fucking lie. Just be honest. 30 minutes elaboration later on a three-minute clip. I... Yeah, editing. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. That's how it was. Every time he would send <laughs> three to five minutes segments. That's it. And then we'd all just elaborate for literally upwards of an hour to an hour and a half. It's like, all right, just sing these little tweak. That one needs a screwdriver. That needs more anal guard. Just keep yep. tweaking at it. To where yeah, we're at now. Because <laughs> now, if you guys are wondering why I do it like that, it's because I'm a perfectionist of sorts. But I also just, I know this is only going up once. Uh, technically, this is going up twice because of this commentary. But I really just want to present the best that I can. Uh, knowing that there's flaws and knowing there's things I could improve on, but as of the current moment that I'm making it, I want to do the absolute damnedest that I can, um, that I can make it good. And and I'm just very glad that I have people to ask, um, you know, questions and advice for. And we promise to make War vs. Doomslayer incredible. Where I'm really hoping that goes very good. I think you guys will be very surprised with that episode. I dread that quality um, process. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a long ass quality <laughs> process. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> We're almost done with uh with with uh with writing down all the um, criterias now and the uh, the little slides. Yeah, yeah, the research of sorts. Yeah, yeah. We're pretty damn close. Right now, we're... and I'm already starting on uh War's uh, script. I'm already starting on his rundown. So oh, we finally started. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I get to do my other job of adding all the stupid ass jokes in. Yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing is No, that's um, my job. It's my job. Now in this episode, I think there was like one or two jokes, or maybe just one. And uh I, I'm gonna be brutally honest with everybody. I I can be funny, but I'm not good at trying to be funny, right? I'm not I'm not good at writing jokes or and so I never really attempted to do that. I also thought that was really on the death battle side of things, trying to be funny. Um, but this time around, when we get to War vs. Doom Slayer, I think we're going to try to add a little more comedy. I think, um, than... I think literally every joke but one that's currently inside the script is me just being stupid. <laughs> and it works out yeah. so well to the criteria. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna implement some some joking around this time uh, around in episode eight, and um, and we'll see what you guys think of it. You know. And then we go to episode I mean, nine, where Michael oh. did have his hair ripped out. So, fun fact about this is, I used a completely different city that had a very similar uh, uh, cam uh, shot, camera shot of sorts that was burning. And I just put that behind them, and then I put a flame in front of them. So that's actually not the same city burning. I mean, story-wise it is, but I wanted there to be a sense of of, uh, of things happening, right? I, I wanted there to be that. Yeah, I want I wanted there to be a feel of destruction, and shit was going down, and things were happening, you know? It wasn't just the same fucking still image the whole time. I was really trying to figure out how to, how, how to yeah. upgrade from uh, Ravager versus Wolverine. Except the sheer force pushed him. I have tried pressing the upgrade button. The upgrade? Yeah, I wish. I wish it was that easy. Uh, yeah, don't, I really don't do. remind me. I have to rebuild my computer. So. Yeah. But now, uh, something else you guys might notice is uh, the thumbnail has updated and changed. And so now these, now these pictures look like crayon uh, <laughs> drawings. They look crispy. But that's okay. Yeah, now, now the thumbnails look. Oh, the thumbnail look. The thumbnail is like super crispy. 
but electricity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, now some of you guys are probably wondering, man, why did you have to kind of Photoshop or draw your own versions? It's because I was combining. I was combining different versions. Well, for, for Ridley, it's the same character and same for Vilgax, but they went through different evolutions. And I wanted to include everything, so I had to kind of implement all the um, elements into one, you know? I just also I, I felt like it would stand alone that way too. I felt it would really catch people's eye that way. Like, wow, they look so different. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Let's see what the pictures are about. Eventually, Ridley is overwhelmed or defeated. Vilgax then states that underestimating him. Now I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. I really prefer the Ravager versus Wolverine round two moment because we're going into round two here. Um, oh shit, we got rounds? I really, yeah, this is essentially round two. This is after Vilgax wins the first round of sorts. And it's going to transition to what happens next. With Ravager and Wolverine, we had a very similar thing happen where Ravager had uh, overcame Wolverine, knocked him out in, in a sense. Um, and we had this really cool part where I was able to take a clip, the audio from Hulk versus and I was able to replace all the Hulk sounds with Xenomorph sounds and stuff. And, um, and, and, P and that was the most watched part of the whole video, uh, funny enough. And um, yeah, that part, that part is better than this, I have to admit. Um, I like this moment more, but I, but I prefer how I did it in the last episode, but I just didn't really have any way to, um, you know, upgrade or replicate that same moment. You know, the same epicness. But this is a really badass moment. This is a big moment. Could you guys imagine this animated? Holy shit. You know, if anyone knows any good animators, yeah. Squeak Week, Nudge Nudge, let us know. Once they're yeah. willing to actually communicate, I must emphasize yeah, that. <laughs> We've been trying to look for animators. I even tried um, my own hand at animating. It didn't go very well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, because we want to animate these fights. We, we want to really bad. I don't care if it's 3D. Oh, hell. I don't care yeah. if it's 2D. I don't care if it's pixel. I don't care if it's fucking hand-drawn. We want something yeah. to look at. I don't yeah. care if it's claymation. I do care if it's claymation. <laughs> Now, That's a lot of work. I'll tell you what, if I was able to get an animator, I would have him do Ravager vs. Wolverine and Ridley vs. Silk X right off the bat. Like, Re-upload, except for the it. battles just cut out and see animation. Yeah. I would love to do that, man. No, no, because we, we got some crazy battles that would uh, definitely need the animation life in it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Episode nine, and, that's going to get oh, yeah. bad. And I do think Definitely. episode eight's going to be bad. And I do think, um, I do think this is a battle that that was in desperate need of it. Um, that is in desperate need of animation, I think, because it's such a big, crazy fight. I mean, there's so much shit going on in this fight, and oh, Kratos, oh, why? Why? I mean, it makes sense. Why? I had to, I had to use something, man. <laughs> uh, see, these to. these next four episodes, well, Ravager vs. Wolverine, this one, and the next two, they they would mm, they would need animation bad. Yeah, I know. I would love it. I think episode eleven. I don't remember. If you're an animator, we we'll probably send need us your work. Uh, Mike, can you like we'll, later we'll remind talk. me what episode eleven even is? <laughs> uh, I even forgot what episode eleven is. Oh wait a minute, I remember what it is now. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> my mind has. No, I've been on a. My mind stopped at nine ahead. for the time being, because <laughs> obvious reasons. I... Now I've been on break from versus for a while and. Um, I'm just trying to I'm trying to get back into it, you know. I've been I've been putting off War vs. Doom Slayer. I just need a break, man. I need to get away from versus. Um, I was losing my interest there, and I, and I've been posting polls just to kind of slowly get myself back into it, um, and you know to keep things kind of alive and uh, and yeah. But what I've been doing in my spare time, if I wasn't doing versus, is I've been working on my book.
and uh, all right, all right, all right, yeah, all right, all right. All right. I'm not going to get into I'm details. Moving. I'm just I'm going saying to say that this. I'm working on it. I, I've confronted Mike because he calls it a comic, but he also calls it a book. But he also wants to release it in yeah. volumes like a manga. What is it exactly? Um, I don't want to release it in volumes. I'd rather release it as one huge graphic novel, like a big ass fucking oh. book. That's what I would oh, so, so, like the Crow Special Edition. Got it. Yeah, I want it to be like a big book. I want it to be thick. Oh, you want it to be a brick. I want it to be a block. I want it to block. It's like a block of cheddar. Hello? It's I, want a block of... I like to order extra large pizza. Yeah, extra I'm... thick. I want an extra large book, all meat, you know, all of it. What about cheddar, dude? It needs cheddar. Yeah, and extra cheddar. <laughs> Absolutely, but I've been working on the book, and I got a team going on with that right now. Um, and I just been very busy with that. But I'm taking a break from it now, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get back, back into dream battles, and uh, and I'm gonna see where things go, man. Because now I'm getting excited, excited about War vs. Doom Slayer again. Uh, I was kind of losing my love for the channel for a while. Well, did it so help you guys that know we kind of ran into a wall research-wise? So, <laughs> yeah, not even a nice padded wall. It was just brick. <laughs> just a huge fucking thump. There was no cracking of the wall, no breaking it's through just that it. Puff it was of just. Dust. It was just confidence, and I was like, all right, I'll ram my shoulder into it. It should break down. And then I ended up dislocating my shoulder over it. Oh, oh, fuck. No. Yep. That's what it was. But this part of the fight, Ridley was Ridley's dominating at this point because Omega Ridley, I definitely think, is more powerful than just Vilgax. Um, and this part of the fight was where I was like, okay. Be well, and well, before a victor was decided, before I even really wrote this fight, I was like, okay, how does Vilgax stand up to Omega Ridley? How does he stand up to Phazon? And something I. And something I found to be really important, which I am going to make a whole video on this, is how environments play such a huge role. Now, some environments can benefit one combatant too much, and I, I, I found that it's best to find an environment that suits both combatants equally. And this battle was not only good for that, but it was thematically perfect. Right, it took place on an alien planet, and um, just this, this just had the right ingredients, man. It all came together so great. And Xandar was chosen very early in the process of making this, like two years early, <laughs> very early. Because I told Jacob, I'm like, all right, this is gonna take place on Xandar. <laughs> That's it, man. That's where I want it. Because I kind of had a story in mind already. And uh, and usually it's not like that for me. Usually it takes me a, a bit to make a story, which... War vs. Doom Slayer, man! Oh my gosh, we still don't have a location. <laughs> uh, I just told him man. Earth, and he's like, no, we can't do Earth. We can't do Earth. We can't, we can't do Earth. <laughs> Earth. 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 You say right, get the hell out. <laughs> There's no THA. This the battle <laughs> takes place. Earth, 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 Earth. Could you guys imagine if I did that? This I'm just like, place the location Earth. of this battle <laughs> takes place in Earth. War arrives in Earth in front of the Doom Slayer. Which caused a giant body of and, then, and then as the battle goes on, Earth then begins to crumble. And break apart. <laughs> we can't. The nearest Earth had then hit <laughs> war. <laughs> we can't do that. We can't do that no. to the nearest. I can't even do no. I mean, it'd be great to do as a joke. <laughs> Just a super cut. Yeah. I mean, every time Mike says Earth, it's not Earth. As he does, Earth. Earth. No, I, don't, I also don't want it on Earth, oddly enough. And some people are like, why? It's like, because I don't want to. We'll do it on Mars. Fuck it. 
Uh, I thought about Mars. I thought about it. Why not? I did think about No, Mars. we're going all the way to Neptune. We're going to the sun. <laughs> Bow we're going to... Yeah, infinity we're going on the sun. And beyond to where no man has ever gone before. Uranus? You were never heard... <laughs> This, this Star Trek. <laughs> Mike, isn't that Star Wars? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was lost in space, man. I don't fucking know, dude. Too many sci-fi series. Yeah. Earth. Hey, look. Hey, look. Copyright. <laughs> dude. Wait, look. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> It's all right. I, I was kept safe. Their greatest weapon had been slain by the Look, they don't have the balls the to really symbol. do strikes anymore <laughs> because they're afraid of getting sued. Oh man, this is cool. I know. Man, let me tell you something, man. I think I, I think the only part that sucks sudden. about this video, and I think Mike can agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is what Jacob says right after the verdict had to be censored. Oh, um, that's no big deal. No, it is. Oh need. My God, that was so awesome. Bullshit. So I want the f bomb <laughs> in there. <laughs> it needs to be in there. There's not enough. <laughs> now, now, fun fact about the verdict. <laughs> fun fact. Um, I lost the recording to this yep. <laughs> right before I was going to upload the video. I still deleted this, this section. I re-recorded it on the spot. And I had Jacob's audio file and I re-edited everything the same day I fucking uploaded the video. Yep, this was... So I recorded this on the 20th of September of 2022. <laughs> yeah, I lost it because I'm a moron. Now, now this verdict, this is, um, I don't know how people feel about this. This is the best verdict I've ever made. It's the highest quality looking verdict, and I'm very proud of this. So, cool. Jacob, what do you think of this verdict? <laughs> and while Zilgax doesn't fly that it's really good. He has offensive measures for taking yeah. on Damn, I, I loved it. Every, yeah. every, it was spectacular. <laughs> Do you guys like the new uh, little box that I made? <laughs> the frame for your art? Yes. I call it the verdict frame. I call it the box. <laughs> the verdict box. It's just, no, it's just the box. <laughs> the dream the box. It's the fucking box. The dream frame. The fucking the dream, dream frame. The frame of dreams. The there we go. Perfect. It's the fucking dream framing box. Of boxes. Of <laughs> frames. Of boxes! Yeah. Could you imagine if I made like three more frames inside of it? You you do have two <laughs> frames inside of it. You have the white, then you have the black frame around it. Technically, you do have three frames because you have the electricity around the white. So it is three yeah. frames in one. <laughs> so it's the boxes of boxes of boxes. <laughs> I have an electric box. I was trying to make it look pretty. I mean, it looks pretty, <laughs> but you put three boxes in the box. See if your box section. Oh, uh, don't make pretty. Make a nice and pretty, folks. Crispy. Crispy. Mm, like a like a crispy grilled cheese with burnt cheese. Make it extra crispy. Crispy cream donut. Is what I heard. Ooh, crispy cream donut. So I've never had a Krispy Kreme donut. I, it, it's uh, been a very long time for me. It's been at I least heard 12 amazing. years. Yeah. Now, now, writing the verdict did take me a long time because I actually had to rewrite this like three times. Um, because I didn't want it to be too long, but I wanted to explain it the best that I could. And I didn't want to miss anything. Um... She went Super Saiyan. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, there was one time where I made it too long, and I was like, fuck, man, I gotta shorten this, you know? It's just... And and the other reason I was stressing on the verdict is because it's the one part of the video everybody's gonna skip to. And I know you guys skip. Don't, don't fucking lie to me and say you don't. The average view time is, what, seven minutes? Don't you fucking lie to me with those little eyes. Don't you fucking lie to me! <laughs> but it's true. I mean, everybody watches this part. And so I put the most effort into this part. 
Yes. I wanted it to be really good. Don't you look at me in that tone of voice. <laughs> Glare is an incompetence. He would take the fight a lot more seriously. Yeah. And, and you know, I don't know what's to come for War vs. Doom Slayer. Who's to know if we're going to upgrade the box? Who's to know if we're going to oh, add new well, things? We're going to upgrade uh, the box. We're going to add a fourth box to the boxes. We're going to add a box to the electricity. Yeah, so, so we have four boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! There we go. I didn't mean to do that. You guys know what I'm talking about. Don't say anything. Oh. What? <laughs> No, it, nothing. Jacob, explain. <laughs> no, don't explain. 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 I don't know. Explain after the rundown. Explain after the commentary. Viewers, yes, be confused. I want you to be. I'm more confused than the fucking viewers are. Ah! <laughs> oh, dude, that's a that's a robo sperm right there. It is a robo sperm, and there's the robo pain. Sorry about that. That was mine. Robo pain. <laughs> and it's blowing up. I did love you know, Robo Peen. <laughs> did you know every time? Did you know every time a Robo sprouts out a peen or a little sperm, it dies. It's like a prey manis, but um, it's not getting its head bit off. Uh, Wouldn't it be a bee then? Well, it got well, it got a certain <laughs> head bit off. Probably even more powerful than that. That part was really hard for me to write too, because I was like, how do I describe this part? More powerful than that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone dicks. Just brain no confusion. Man, I was man. It's like when you're doing a verdict, you gotta really explain it very good because, and you gotta make it to where there's detail, but simplify it so people don't get confused. This is and why that's hard to do. the next two episodes are gonna yeah. suck. Because if we if they're planned out to how they think what's gonna happen, it's gonna be really hard not pissing off a lot of people. <laughs> Well, let's not let's not get into too much detail here. Uh, well, that's why I kept but, it vague. No one knows even though yeah. what episode nine even is yet. Oh, episode nine! I thought you were talking about episode oh, eight. Oh, it's included, <laughs> but I'm saying yeah. vague on purpose. <laughs> In actuality, Goombas win. Now, now the popular majority of votes actually go to Vilgax in general. Like after doing, like I was doing a lot of research, and um, there was a lot of people on the side of Vilgax. A lot of people, and I doubted myself a lot in this episode um, because I was like, man, I don't know who's gonna win, and it came down to Vilgax. But hey, here it comes, and I am gonna mute this part um, because uh, just because. We got copyrighted for this part. A claim, that is. Um, and, and that also includes the official trailer that is uploaded by itself. So, Which, fuck you, YouTube. You said this was not copyrighted. So I'm calling you out. <laughs> dude, dude, the trailer. The music itself, I can tell it's not copyrighted just by the production value. No, I, no, it says it's the music. It's the fucking music that's copyrighted. That's bullshit. Can I just say, it's actually this like is... one of my favorite execution moves ever, just taking out the legs and fucking splitting them in two yeah! as they're flying <laughs> through the air. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, man. I am excited to bring Darksiders back. Now I just need to make the and fourth boy, game. boy, I'm going to tell you guys something. And I'm, and I'm telling the audience, I regret putting death up against Nightmare. Oh yeah, because yeah, we learned. Fuck is that boy is that one sided. Oh don't worry. Like Death got some good opponents coming up. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. After that, he's got plenty of Four. Yeah, I'm making up for that. I'm making up for that one sided fucking show. <laughs> that was horrible. But uh, That's right, guys. War is going to be in well, the next episode of Dream. Oh, God damn. There it is, guys. The time this video is uploaded, you'll I know I did a lot of the talking, but do you guys have any final thoughts on this? Be prepared. I say I I love I love being part of this. Uh, I'm glad I got to do a part. Uh, it is so amazing. Um, thank you, Mike. I appreciate you having me on here. No problem, yes, remember, and Jacob. you'll be coming back. Yeah, you're coming back, and you're not done yet, buddy boy. 
You're not yeah. done. There's there's more my, for you to do. My business isn't done yet. Yeah, no, it is not. <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> Cinemaster. I'll be back with so, a vengeance. Matt, is there any final thoughts for you? I just realized this is very bright to me. Really? Oh, crap. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm watching a 27-inch monitor, okay? Of course, it's fucking bright to also, me. Also, shout out to GG. I love you, man. Thank you. I hope you're doing good. Fucking incredible music that you did for Ridley vs. Vilgax. I appreciate you a lot. Hey, look, it's me. I want you to know that. Oh, look. It's Matt's old name. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, G! Clinton. Shout out yeah. to Stay tuned for the next episode of G GG! I do love uh, GG's music, appreciate... though. It's good shit. Yeah, I appreciate everybody hey, who's, it's me. who's involved Fuck that guy. Uh, with Screen Battles. I appreciate oh, everyone. <laughs> and from Plus Plus. <laughs> Oh, shit. Fuck that guy, too. No, Trevor. No, no, he's good. <laughs> oh, shit, fuck that guy as well. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, uh, well, okay. guys, I'm Mike. These are my buddies, Jacob and Matt, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. See you guys soon. Hi.